Hey guys. As, as I found out in WWE Monday Night Raw, Roman Reigns has diagnosed to leukemia and suffered for that for 11 years. It's hard to say that because I, it's probably the one of the most hard-hitting cancer feeling I ever heard and seen before. For 11 years, that's like a long time. And I totally respect Roman for that. Like, cancer is, like, very dangerous to people who have disabilities and other stuff. And I used to hate Roman Reigns back then, but usually when he retires The Undertaker, um, it's kind of awful to hear that he retired. I used to hate him. I like saying, you suck, go away, all those kind of stuff back in the days, but... For that, he made a good speech, and he was talking about his family, like what he has done over the years, and suffering from leukemia for 11 years sounds harsh. I totally respect him about that. I will never disrespect on whatever he says about that. I will never do anything mean whenever... Someone tells him to shut up. I never do that whenever they do. I only do my stuff to Roman. Whenever he makes a trustful, worthy um promo, like suffering some like cancer or something like that, with Lucchini for 11 years, I give the best I can to him. It's hard. It's, it's heartbroken. And... It's sad for a lot of, like, Roman fans out there. It's crying. I'm heartbroken, too. It's it's hard for me to react, and it's not fun for him to get cancer. It's not fun to have that. It's like one of those, like, issues you have over years now. I do have a little bit of autism, but I still give out what I can anyone who's actually watching this video but there's a lot of viewers in WWE actually millions are actually watching Monday Night Raw but I used to watch Monday Night Raw but there's a little bit of change when it comes to actually watching it the product gets a little boring sometimes I really don't really get used to watching it I used to watch it back then but it changed on me I decided to do different things and different stuff in the future. But when I ever heard that speech. It's. I gotta say it was not fun to hear. I'm like a big wrestling fan. I've been. Part of. Usually watching WWE for now like. Now for four years. And I still know all the legends. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Brett and the Hitman Hart. John Cena. So it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Triple H, uh, what is that, Ted DiBiase, Hulk Hogan, all those legends, wandering superstars like Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, those wrestlers really give a lot of respect, they have really given out what they have ever had in their life. Of wrestling, it takes for years to be in the WWE. It takes like a lot of hard work to get in there. And I gotta say, whenever I become a WWE superstar, I need to be careful whatever I do. Whenever I suffer for cancer, I need to watch out for that. In the future, that that example that Roman gives out that he suffered from leukemia for eleven years. I need to be very careful. And even everyone is actually watching this video, you need to. I'm actually kind of like unhappy of him having that for 11 years now. It's going on since his whole entire life. And I, I kind of feel bad for him. Now I'm starting to like Roman now because he does great in the promos. He is getting what he deserves. He's not a part-timer. He works whatever he got. Still, he gets a lot of respect. 
out of me. And everyone's actually part of his, like, his wrestling fan. There's, like, a lot of Roman fans out there. And I respect them. No matter what. But I feel bad whenever he's done something, or he has over the years. I give a lot of respect to him. It's really heartbroken to him. And I actually felt a little bit speechless of him having that kind of issue or cancer for years. I really gotta say that I'm starting to like in Roman Reigns more than I thought I should be on hating him before. And that's a bleak truth. And whenever there's haters still disrespecting that, whenever he gave out that um, Lucini speech for 11 years, or has that for 11 years, I complete to say that, but it's total disrespectful. I, re- I really do matter hate whenever people like, like, uh, you used to suck. This ain't right. You need to give respect to someone whenever they have something over years now they can actually take over. It's bad. For me, I'm a nice person. Like, I'm like, almost graduating. Like, I've, I'm like, I'm still 11th grade because I, because I suffer from autism. I'm still trying to get some, like, um, requirements to graduate or something. There's a lot of people that have issues, and it's not fun to go over with them. But if you, at least you're still trying, you're going to try to get something that you always want to get. For me, like, like last year, I was, like, 11th grade. I was like, oh, I can't wait to go to like twelfth grade, but someone like um the someone in the high school actually the guidance counselor said I need to stay in eleventh grade because I need the requirements. I need to take our class to get ever what I want. I need the requirements to graduate in twenty twenty. I thought I was going to graduate twenty nineteen, but I'm not. So not this year, but next year. So this is the reason why some people have issues. They have autism. They have anger issues. They get nervous a lot. And I have those issues sometimes. And it's not fun. And I don't like it. Whenever you see somebody who has autism, give a lot of respect. Have fun with that. Do the people that you gotta do. Just don't be mean. Just do something that's right. Don't do something that's wrong because... That's showing some disrespect, and I don't want that. Sorry if it's dark in here. I just want a good thought. Yeah. So I'm in a silent basement right now because I'm giving this, like, heartbreaking speech to Roman. I, I feel like um, that it's heartbreaking to me and everyone. And that's the last thing I will say about that. And I feel bad for him. I hope you get better. I'll see you, Roman, in the future. Thank you.